We hate to break it to you like this, but we figured it's better for us to break it to you than you fighting about it yourself. About what? It's Amy. Girl, I feel terrible that I wasn't able to stop her, but I just couldn't. Stop her from what? What's happened to her? Is she all right? Nothing's happened to her. Take a look. I don't understand. It's the first installment in a series of articles about you by Amy Viney, as told to your friendly reporter. The late story talks about how Scotty walked out on you the day you came back to Port Charles. Amy did this? I, I can't believe it. I don't understand it. Read it yourself. I absolutely don't believe that she did this. Why? I wish I knew. What if Luke sees this? Uh, honey, I am so sorry. I mean, I just feel sick about it. Not as sick as I do. Oh, I have to see Luke. I have to see Luke before he sees this. I have to explain. Otherwise, he's going to think that I, I, Scotty left me and I couldn't make things work out with him, so I went back to Luke. He's never going to trust me again. He'll never believe me again. Well, look, what are you going to do about Amy, Laura? Brian, I've never been able to do anything about Amy. Right now, all I care about is explaining this to Luke before he hears about it from somebody else. Well, I think somebody ought to talk to Amy because I think that was a pretty rotten thing for her to do. How could you do something like this for publication? What would make you think you had the right? I didn't mean to. He just sort of talked me into it. Sort of. It seems to me he did a bang-up job. Well, I guess he was just a little more clever than I was. Then you should have been cleverer. This is nothing but cheap sensationalism. Did it never occur to you that you might have been hurting Laura? No. I was trying to help her. By something like this? Well, I tried not to say anything that I shouldn't, but some things just sort of slipped out while I was trying to defend her. Promise me you will never defend her again. It may be her only chance for survival. Leslie, I don't blame you for being mad. I was mad when I read it, too. I mean, he twisted everything that I said. That's what reporters do. Reporters twist everything everybody says. You've been around this family long enough. You have seen all of us involved in front page stories long enough to know that, that the press can hurt innocent people. I didn't think. All right, I will admit that I was wrong, but I meant well. Now, if I could do it over again, I would keep my big mouth shut, but I can't. And since I can't, your yelling doesn't do any good. I am not yelling. Yes, you are, and I don't think it's fair because I was only trying to be loyal to my sister. And what I said was true. Scotty did desert her. I do think it was terrible, and I don't care who knows it. Oh. Good heavens, uh... What's going on in here? A small domestic argument. It uh, didn't sound very small to me. Uh, was it about that interview that Amy gave? Of course it was, and I was giving her hell about it. Well, did she say why she did it? Sure, to defend Laura, she said. It all got twisted, she said. She was tricked. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it was. Maybe it was totally innocent as far as Amy was concerned. But she has obviously given this guy enough stuff for the next three weeks. Well, I suppose so. And you can just bet they're going to get all the mileage out of it that they can. And I just don't know what a story like this is going to do to Laura at this time. Not to mention Luke. truly tried to stay away, but I just suddenly found myself in the neighborhood and I thought, oh, well, what the heck, maybe she needs somebody to talk to. Why would you even want to stay away? Because I was very seriously trying to give you enough room to stand on your own feet and sort things out for yourself without any of my outside interference. I'm not so sure I can do it alone. Come on in. Okay. Mother. Yeah. I'm miserable. I am so miserable. I miss Luke so much. And you haven't been able to find him? I don't know where he is. I thought when he was released from jail, he'd, he'd go 
straight to Bobby's or Ruby's. I just missed him at Ruby's. But don't you think that he'll get in touch with you sooner or later? No. I don't think he will. I think I'm going to have to get in touch with him and apologize for what I've done. And, and that's not the only problem either. What else? Well, this afternoon the manager knocked on my door and told me that the rent hasn't been paid. Oh, good Lord. Yeah. Obviously, Scotty just walked out of here and forgot all about it, or else he just didn't care. All I know is I've got to get a job and I've got to get some money. Well, I can lend you what you need right now. I know you can, but I want to earn it. Yeah, I know. Well, you don't have to go out and do it tonight, do you? Because I thought, gee, wouldn't it be fun if we went out and had some fun together? I don't think I could have any fun tonight, Mother. Oh, of course you could. Sure you could. Oh, see? <laughs> see? <laughs> I promise you. I swear to you. Tomorrow morning, first thing, you can go back to suffering full time. <laughs> well, since you put it that way, I guess I, I would kind of... I'd like to go to the disco. Could we go there? Why not? After all, dancing is my life. And I'm letting you call all the shots tonight. Well, actually, I want to talk to Susan more. I heard that she's running the disco now. Is that true? Yeah. Yeah. And I have heard she's doing a very good job. Yeah, well, I thought maybe if I talked to her, maybe she would give me my old job back. I mean, just until I can find something better. Are you expecting someone? No, I'm not. Hi, sweetheart. Dad. Hi, what are you doing here? Well, I was on my way home from the hospital, and I I thought um, uh, you might need me tonight. <laughs> <sighs> That's really sweet of you. Wow. Well, I'm, I've got my two favorite people here, you and Mom. Your mother's here? Yeah. Come on in. I had no idea. Well, I had the same thought you did. Hi. Hi. Uh, you know, uh, Mother and I were talking about going out someplace tonight. Do you suppose the three of us could make it in the evening? Well, it's... Uh, it's I don't see anything wrong with it. It's yeah. fine. It's okay with me. Sure. Great. Great. Be just like, uh... Thank you. 